is Bee's HTML tag? Bee's HTML tag is tag that we use to define Bee's URL that we'll use for all relative URLs inside of HTML document. I guess that this is confusing probably for the most of you because you don't know what are absolute URL and relative URL. Well, absolute URL is complete address of your website or some page on your website. It contains protocol name, the name of your website, or also known as domain name, and the name of the page that you want to access. On the other hand, relative URL represents just the name of the page that you want to access. So for relative URL, you need to have some base URL address. So basically, with the base HTML tag, we can define base URL for all your relative URLs in that HTML document. Two important attributes that we use with the base are href, which represents base URL for relative URLs in HTML document, and target HTML attribute, which represents how we want to be redirect on the new location. Two values that we usually use are self, which means that we will be redirect in the same tab in web browser, and blank, which means that we will be redirect in the new tab in the web browser. First thing for this lesson, let's create a new folder and let's call it website. Inside of this folder, we're going to place everything that is related with this project. So next thing, inside of that folder, let's create a few subfolders. First one will be pages. The next one will be styles. And the last one will be scripts. By convention, this is a good way how you should organize structure of your project. OK, now let's open our text editor. So first line of code will be doc type declaration with value HTML, which means that we are using HTML version 5. Then let's define start and end HTML tags. And inside of it, let's define head and body HTML elements. OK, for head, let's define title for this document. This lesson is about head element, so let's set head element lesson. OK, leave our body empty for now and let's save this document. So go on File, Save As. We'll save this index page inside of our website folder and let's call it index.html. OK, we can quickly check our index page. So here it is. Let's open it. And yeah, our index page is currently empty. Reason for this, that body is currently empty. But we have title for this document, head element lesson, that we have set with the title HTML element. So, okay, now we have our empty document. And we can move on. Next thing that we want to do, let's create one more blank document. We can copy content from index page just to save some time and let's paste it here. So first let's change title. This is going to be page one. Okay. And inside of body, let's define one simple heading h1 element with content page one. Simple and easy. Now we can save our document. This one we're going to save inside of our pages folder and let's call it page1.html. Okay. Now let's create one more blank document. We can copy content from page one. And let's paste it here. This is going to be page two, so let's change that. And here also. And now we can save this document. Let's call it page2.html. 
Okay, so now we have our page one. And also we have page two. So let's check out how page one and page two looks like. Okay, this is page one, so let's open it. And here it is. This is page one and page two. This is how page two looks like. Okay. What is idea? Now inside of our index web page, we will create two links for page one and page two. So let's do that. So inside of our index, inside of body, let's create anchor HTML element. First link will be for page one. And let's define for start anchor tag href and target HTML attributes. Let's create new line after this link. Okay. And as we said, first link will be for page one. So for href, we need to set or point on page one. So first thing, our page one is inside of pages folder. So let's set that pages slash. Okay. So from pages folder, we will use page one. Let's set that page one.html. Okay. We'll have blank target for this one. So our web page will be open in new tab. We can duplicate this line of code with control D. And next link will be for page two. And like content for our href, we'll set page two from our pages. Okay, nice. Let's save our changes. And let's go back in our web browser. So when we refresh our web page, we have two links for page one and page two. So when we click on a page one link, we will be redirect on a page one in new tab in a web browser. Okay. So when we click on a page two, same thing will be redirect on the page two in new tab in a web browser. Okay. So for now we have page one and page two links. Okay. What is the next thing? If we take a look inside of our text editor, we can see for both of our links, we have pages like common part inside of href. So with the base HTML tag, we can create base URL that we'll use for relative URLs in this web page. So for href, we can set pages that is a common part for both links, like base URL. So we can cut it from here and let's paste it here. Now we can remove pages from link one. Okay. And also target HTML attribute is same for both links. So we can cut it from here. And let's paste it here. And we can remove target HTML attributes for first, for second link. This is actually good practice because uh, we don't have duplicated code and our code is much cleaner now. Okay, so if we refresh our web page and test page one link, once again, our page one link work. Okay, and page two link also works. So basically, now with the base HTML tag, we have created base URL for our pages folder. We are pointing on pages folder and page one and page two that belong to the same pages folder. Also, we can change this to self. We can test this. So now in our web browser, when we refresh our web page, let's close these windows. Okay, when we refresh our web page and when we click on a page one, you can see that we are redirected in the same tab in our web browser and same thing for page to link. Okay, this is basically how we can use base HTML tag. Thanks for watching this tutorial and I hope this was helpful to you. If you like our work, please become our Patreon or simply donate on our PayPal. Please remember, even a little from you means a lot for us. You can follow us on our Twitter and Instagram profiles. And please don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Because on our YouTube channel, knowledge is waiting for you.